Welcome. Thank you so much for coming to practice today. Uh, so like we discussed right before class, you aren't experiencing any injuries right now, but you're a little stiff. And so we're going to work on opening your hips and your solar plexus, your chest area, opening your heart. So let's start in child's pose. Go ahead and open your knees as wide as feels comfortable and sink your hips back onto your feet. That's great that you're using a blanket. That'll really help support your knees, not letting them bend for too long. And just start to breathe in, opening the heart. And as you breathe out, lower down, sinking your heart toward the mat. And if you can, resting your head on the mat. Starting to take deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And if it feels comfortable, does it feel comfortable to put your head on a block? If not, the floor is just fine. Start to breathe, feeling the breath move in and out of your ribs sideways, allowing for more space for the breath to flow. Starting to feel the breath fill the spaces of your body that need attention the most today. And on your next breath in, fully fill every part of your body with breath and on the breath out, Press through the palms of your hands into a tabletop position. Feeling your shoulders stacked evenly over your hands, your hips stacked evenly over your knees, spine elongated, feeling strength through the crown of your head, shooting forward. Start to breathe in, lifting your right arm, opening it up, opening your chest, lifting your right arm. And as you breathe out, thread the needle, placing your right arm behind your left. If you can, place your right shoulder on the ground. It looks beautiful. You can take your left arm and place it a little further forward or out to support yourself. Breathing in. As you breathe out, be sure to align your hips over your knees. Take a deep breath in, extending your arm back open, lifting your right arm up and overhead and placing it back down. Making sure your tabletop is even. And on your next breath in, repeating on the left, lift your left arm up to the sky, breathing in and breathing out. Thread the needle, stretching your left shoulder, placing the right hand forward, and using that strength and stability to help even your hips. Taking one more deep breath in and out. And on the next breath in, lifting the arm up and overhead, opening up the chest, placing the hand back down into tabletop, breathing in, arching the back, reaching the heart forwards, melting it open into cow pose. Breathing out, lift the belly button up toward your spine, pulling it toward the sky. Breathing out, cat pose. Continue to move like this with your breath in and out. Feeling your breath, filling the spaces where your body needs to really move your spine and find a bit more mobility. That looks really, really nice. On your next breath in, return to tabletop. Breathing in, extend your right hand out straight in front of you, keeping your elbows away or sorry, keeping your shoulders away from your ears and extend your left foot out straight behind you. That's great, you know your propage very well. Take a deep breath in and yearn your hand forward and your heel backward in opposite directions, feeling the strength and stability in doing this. And breathing out, bring it all back to tabletop. Take a deep breath in, extending your left arm and your right leg back in equal and opposing directions, equal and opposing force. Not craning your cervical spine too much, really feeling like there's a rope pulling the crown of your head forward. I'm breathing out, placing everything back down. Breathing in, tuck your toes under your feet, maintaining a tabletop positioning 
Breathe out and press your knees upwards into a bear position. Continuing the breath, opening your heart as you breathe in, feeling your abdominal muscles contract toward your spine as you breathe out. Take one more breath in and on the next breath out, straighten your legs as much as you can, boosting your hips up toward the sky into a downward facing dog. Open up your hands and your feet as wide as your mat. Keep a nice deep bend in your knees so that you can really feel extension in your spine. It's great. With every breath in, feel your pelvis lift a little higher to the ceiling and with the breath out, feel extension in your upper spine. On the next breath down, return to tabletop. Roll your hips back onto your heels. Lift up on the shins. Take a deep breath in, lifting the arms up and overhead, finding length in the spine and in the sides of your body. Hands in prayer position. Take your right foot and gently place it forward into a low lunge. You can use a block on either side of your foot so that you don't have to hunch over too much. Just really settle into the posture, finding the best stretch that looks nice, making sure the knee is not going past the ankle. And then when you found the perfect spot where you're not stretching too far, but you're really getting a nice stretch, tuck your toes under, your left toes, scissor your thighs together so that your hips are nice and even, pointing square ahead and breathing in. Extend your arms up and overhead. Take your right hand either to your knee or to a block to your side for stability. Reach your left hand up and overhead to the right, really feeling a nice stretch through your serratus, your left rib cage, making sure your shoulder stays down. That looks beautiful. On the breath out, return to a low lunge. Taking a deep breath in, push up to a high lunge, extending the arms upwards once again. Breathing in, extend everything a little bit higher, maintaining those square hips, and circling the arms back, come into a humble warrior. If you can't clasp your arms behind you, you can also place your forearms on the small of your back, focusing on maintaining an extended spine, hipping the spine forward as far as you can without over bending the knee over your ankle. Taking a deep breath in, reaching forward and on the breath out, falling forward a little bit more. Take one more deep breath in and on the breath out, fully release back down into a low lunge. Return to a tabletop position. One deep breath in together. One deep breath out, open mouth. One more deep breath in. Deep breath out through the mouth. Sink back on the hips, lift up on the shins. Breathing in, arms up and overhead. Breathing out, place the left foot forward into a low lunge, like we did on the other side. Finding your deepest expression, feeling a deep stretch in your psoas, your right hip. And then tucking your right toes under, scissoring the thighs so that your hips are square. Feeling strength through your right foot connected to the earth, making sure that your knee is not over your ankle. Breathing in, lift the arms up and overhead. Feel your rib cage knitting in, but your heart melting up. And don't crane your cervical spine too much. Taking a deep breath in, place your left hand on your left knee or on a block to your left side. Reach your arm up and overhead and extend to the left. Move it in a little bit. It looks nice. Keep your shoulder down. You can move your arm a little forward if you like. And on the next breath out, place the hands back down, pressing up with the next breath in into a high lunge. Finding strength in this position. If you need to, you can take your left foot a little bit further out so that your stance is a bit wider. Squaring the hips. 
taking a deep breath out, reaching forward and around, arms on your lower back are clasped together into a humble warrior, tipping the spine forward in an extended line. And if you can, relaxing down, feeling a nice stretch in your upper back. One more deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Return to low lunge and to tabletop position. Take a deep breath in and with a deep breath out, press up into downward facing dog once more. Just for one short moment, take a deep breath in and slowly walk your feet up to meet your hands. Slowly breathe in, straight back. You can put your hands on your thighs, extend your back. Breathing out, bend all the way forward. And then breathing in, arms up and overhead. Hands to prayer position. Close your eyes for just a moment. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. Find your posture. Make sure that your feet are parallel. You can move these toes in a little bit more. Feel firm rooting all the way through your feet. Make sure that your knees aren't locked, that your inner thighs are engaged, that you feel engagement through your abdominal muscles, and you feel as though there's a hook that's pulling you from your tailbone down and another hook on the crown of your head pulling you up. Take a couple more deep breaths. Now opening your eyes, pigeon toe your feet until your feet are a comfortable distance apart that you can sink your hips back into a deep squat, malasana. The key here is to bend only as far as you can for now so that you maintain a straight spine. Make sure your knees don't bow inwards too much, that looks nice. If you want to sink a little deeper, you can open your stance a bit, but I think that you might have your knees sl uh, splaying inwards too much if you do. So that's beautiful. You can also take a moment to sit on the block if that's comfortable. Take a deep breath in, feeling length through your spine. And take a deep breath out. Slowly fold forward, pressing your hands on the ground, bending your knees deeply, pigeon toeing your feet in, straighten up, deep forward fold. Is it okay if I take these away? You can widen your stance if it makes it a little easier to bend forward. Really just keep your legs as far apart as you can, that you can bend forward with an extended back and use the blocks for strength. Try to keep the toes pigeon-toed in a bit. This really helps provide a counter stretch to daily activities where we're usually favoring our legs opening, externally rotating. Breathing in, extend the back. Breathing out, bend all the way forward. Heel toe your feet back together. Hip widths apart. Take a deep breath in, hands on the thighs, straight back. Deep breath out, bend all the way forward. Deep breath in, arms up and overhead. And with a deep breath out, swan dive with an extended spine. Not arching the spine, keeping it straight all the way down. Place your hands on the floor and step into plank position vertically on your mat. It's wonderful. Take a moment here to breathe deeply, find your length. Feeling energy shooting through your heels, bringing your toes a little bit closer together, finding engagement in your inner thighs, power through your abdominal muscles, that looks great. Really knitting the ribs together and feeling the energy shooting through the crown of your head. Breathing in, place the knees down. In one piece, shoot the upper body forward and lower it slowly, elbows tucked into the sides, lowering everything in one piece. Place your hands just under your shoulders with a deep breath in, 
baby cobra, not craning the neck, just using the abdominal muscles and the strength of your palms pressing into the earth to lift up. Breathing out, lower down. Breathing in, push up and sink back into child's pose for just a moment. Take one deep breath in, one deep breath out. Lift up onto your shins. Slowly roll your spine up, lifting up onto your shins. Making sure that your shins are pointing straight back, looking behind you for just a moment. And take a deep breath in, feeling your heart lifting skyward. Place your hands on the small of your back. And we're going to just do a prep for camel. Breathing in, feel your hips starting to push forward and feel as though there is a rope pulling your heart up into the sky. Breathing out, sinking your hips a little further forward. And each time you breathe in, feeling like there's a rope pulling your chest up. Breathing out, pushing your hips forward a bit more. One more deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Come back into a seated position. Rotate your legs around you and bring them forward in front of you. Now, you might want to take a blanket to sit on to help your pelvis tilt forward a bit so that you're really finding extension in your hamstrings but not curving your spine too much uncomfortably in your lumbar region. Take a deep breath in, rotating on your hip bones, feeling where you can find an even seated position, stability. Breathing in, lift the arms up and overhead, finding length in your side body, knitting your ribs in and extending forward, reaching as far as you can, but maintaining a straight spine. You can grasp, for now I would grasp right here on either thigh and really use your force to pull your spine straight and upward. Breathing in and as you breathe out, melt your chest a little bit further forward. Really make sure to breathe in and resist and breathe out and fall forward into the stretch. And with the next breath in, extend once more and on the breath out, release forward as far as feels comfortable. You can bend your spine a little now that you've found length. On the next breath in, take your right foot, cross it over your left leg as far as you can, maintaining a straight spine. So. If that means that it has to cross a little lower, that's totally fine. Find length, tensing your fingers and pressing into the ground, squaring your hips, finding length in your spine, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Reach your left arm up and clasp it around your knee if you can. You can clasp below it on your shin and just start to visualize a twisting motion, breathing in, feeling your spine internally rotating and just gazing a little bit past your right knee, feeling a nice twist and a bit of a stretch in your outer hip. You can move your hands a little closer if that gives you a little bit more ability to straighten the spine. And then your next breath out, extend the leg back forward and we'll repeat on the other side. Take your left leg, that looks nice trying to maintain flatness for stability as much as you can. And you'll also find a bit deeper of a stretch here. That looks really nice. Straightening up, breathing in, tensing the fingers. Breathe out. Take another deep breath in, taking the right arm up and overhead, clasping the left leg and finding length, gently twisting the spine. Using the breath out, to release into the, the stretch a bit deeper. And on the breath in, visualizing your spine lengthening even further. On the next breath out, extend your left leg in front of you. Place the soles of your feet on the ground. Reach in front of you and slowly roll back onto the mat. Take one last hugging in of the knees. Rocking back and forth, side to side. Really massaging the back one last time. Feeling a nice compression in the crease of the hip joint. 
Taking one more deep breath, hugging the knees in, lifting your head to your knees. And on your breath out, release fully to the mat. Take one last deep breath in and a deep breath out through the mouth. And breathe naturally, taking 10 deep breaths in full relaxation, relaxing from your toes all the way to the crown of your head. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Come into your surroundings. Maybe you hear a fountain or some birds chirping. Slowly roll onto your left side, taking one deep breath in fetal position. Taking one more deep breath. On the breath out, press the palms of your hands, your hands into the earth, coming into a seated position. Closing your eyes still, coming into a comfortable seated position, hands grounded on your knees. Take one more deep breath in, feeling that rope once again, pulling the crown of your head skyward. Deep breath out, hands to your heart center in prayer position. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste. Mm-hmm. <laughs>